Hello, welcome to the first ever gig vlog. I've never ever done one of these. I'm with Russell Bland. How are we doing? We used to do, we were having a road trip doing comedy. We used to do these many years ago. We used to have Steve Hayes with us and Harry Bristow. Steve Hayes is retired now and he's uh, just sat on his fishing rod, sat, <laughs> no, sat on his, his toadstool. Uh, no, Harry Bristow's uh, too busy running pubs. Yeah, and Russell needs to urinate. Yeah, that's so a good stop. Basically, we're at Nutsford Services. Yeah. Now, if you're at Nutsford Services, I must recommend the get car. Get washing done. Yeah, I think you can get your washing get your done. Washing get done. your washing done if you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, or get a Cornish pasty. Or if you're feeling really surreal, just get a Cornish pasty and wash it. Just put, <laughs> or yeah, you just just get a Cornish pasty, and leave it leave it in the washer. So some fucking knobhead in his caravan will come washing his underpants and a fucking <laughs> and will service yeah, it like you pants. do. Yeah. Oh, I'm just shitting my pants, Martha. <laughs> well, luckily, there's a washing machine. We'll stand there like fucking knobheads. Yeah, some with Russell now. It's up to rudely. Ru yeah, that's rudely. Right. Sorry, everyone. People behind us think we're weird. The pockets can right, really. Yeah. But we're uh, at the services now. Uh, He's got a piss. Like Japanese tourists. Well, they're way to Rugle, so I'll um, end this bit there. <laughs> we found the toilets at um, Nutsford Services. Just filmed a really funny bit and not press record. You know, Russell's there with his gin. I've got my gin. I like a gin before a gig. I, I think it's cinematic, this. I've just paid £3.80 for a fucking glorified <laughs> boiled ham sandwich from Greg's. This has got to keep me going on the road. Russell prefers alcohol before a gig. I prefer boiled ham. That was actually funnier the first time we did that yeah, video because yeah. Ru Russell actually laughed. Did laugh. But um, it, doesn't you know, it, it doesn't matter. I've heard, it's it's just an after I've heard it all before. It's like, it's like my old life and afterthought and a fucking sham. So yeah, we're just leaving Nutsford Services now on our way to Rugle. Rugle? Rugle. Perform to some rugby Ru players. Rub we're going to perform to a. a, 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 a we're gonna. I can't even fucking speak anymore. Rugly to perform in front of rugby players. Uh, onwards and upwards. What's this? Hang on. What's going on? Where are you? I'm joined by Russell. Uh, this is the venue. Um, you get me all the best gigs, Russell. Uh, it looks all right inside. It's all right. Well, they seem all right. So we're at Rugely. They probably the karaoke Rugby machine. Club. That's one that, one that teenagers got for last Christmas. So we'll work out. We'll work on magic with that, won't we? Showbiz. Onwards and upwards. Well, the good news is there's no microphone. It's a headset, like Britney Spears, and the PA system is one speaker. Did you ever get them gnats in your life where you just wish you'd have stayed at home eating crisp? Well, Russell, uh, I'd just like to thank you for giving me this gig. It's not um, bad, mate. We're, we're in the green room, aren't we? Yeah, this is the uh, changing room. <laughs> That's my New Zealand all black. This is the changing rooms. Um, I suddenly feel like I'm in the film Scum. <laughs> and somebody's going to come in with a, a sock full of snooker balls and whack me around the head, which I wish they would do. Have you, have you told us about the microphone situation? Yeah, there's no microphone. Well, there is. I, I, what is it? Is there it is, it's, it's one of those, like that you would wear if you worked in the customer service uh, kind of job that goes over your head, a bit like Michael McIntyre wears. And the speaker's like a the speaker one, one, one sorry speaker. Um, I wonder what Paul Smith's doing tonight. Where's Paul Smith playing? Um, no, we're making this, I imagine. No. He's not got showers like this. He, um, With some Link's body. And then there's some of that um, palm, palm olive. Only natural stuff there, yeah, but... Paul Smith, eat your heart out. You just don't get gigs like this. Yeah, right, thank you. So, I'm here. Looks like I'm interviewing Russell. Perhaps I am. Maybe. I'm here with Russell. We're backstage at Rugeley Rugby Club. Um, wasn't what I kind of expected. But, we were having a conversation in the car and I said to Russell, didn't I? I said, where do we fit into comedy? Where, where, where do we fit into mm. this? And journeymen. I've often thought that, that in boxing you have journeymen who just are good fighters but never make it. So they carry on just on the road, earning the butter. And um, that's painful, us. Yeah. The, the, the painful truth is 
we're kind of journeymen, so I, I shouldn't... I don't find it painful. I no, it's not, like pain, it. it's not painful. It's gigs that other people wouldn't be able to do, do you know what I mean? You need a lot of character, a lot of strength to be able to stand in front of people like this. There's like the dirty gigs almost, to say like, you know what the, I mean, they're rough, they're ready. But the gigs not, the gigs not many want, I would turn down. Um, we're better. Not many comedy club comedians could do these kind of gigs, and they can just do comedy clubs. Um, Comfort zones for them, isn't it? Th there's a saying: it takes ten years to become a comedian, and it might seem strange at first because there's some comedians who do gigs around London for like eighteen months and they're on television. But I think what they're meaning the 10 years to be a comedian is an all-rounder what can do any venue I think Tom's here with your microphone yeah, yeah, hello Tom amazing. we're just filming ourselves you don't mind you can come and no, join Tom, York, this, is, this is Tom this is Tom we organised the gig how are you lads we yeah, have yeah. we've yeah. sent this poor man out in the rain because we're, we're soaking wet as well for a, a lead um, have we got the rack because Jim is too much of a prima donna to use the head oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Tom, he's, 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 he's been kicking off at the way of male and female. Perfect. This is Just the only like female it. thing I'll be uh, <laughs> inserting anything into there. Yeah, no. I don't know, mate. In Jimmy, can't get We're it We're back in action. All right, mate. How you doing? Stand, ready to rock and roll, right, Tom. Yeah. So what's the, what time are we on? Uh, let me go and make sure everyone's ready. And then yeah, 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 I'll give you a shout. Thank you very much. Yeah. Do you need to say and check that first for a feedback? Yeah, I've got to have a little do with him in it once we finish this little vlog. No worries, yeah, yeah but uh, this is part one. We'll, we'll just have a conversation. We'll have another week. We're doing a vlog. But uh, yeah, um, right, we'll see. You, you go and. I'll go and do that. I'll um, we'll see you shortly. All right, I'll be alone here. I'll, I'll, I'll be yeah. alone here. Um, Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Tom, say to Tom. Um, Tom, can you come here a minute? Yeah. Can on. you state in case anybody from the in case anybody from the DWP is watching that, that no money will be changing hands for this performance tonight, and I'm only, I'm only being paid in fresh water. I believe so. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tom. Now go and sort your thing later, Tom. Nice Cheers. one, Tom. See you later. See you later. Bye bye. Solo reflections. Tom's outside with Russell. He's a good lad, to be fair. You know and. Perhaps this is his first comedy now, and a lot of people are not all fair with how it works and the sound systems and that. But perhaps I'm being hard, and perhaps I need to get over myself and sometimes think, who the fuck am I? You know, I do have kind of delusions of grandeur. Um, I think it's well known in certain areas, but you know, a gig's what you make it, and. Um, it's gigs are surprising. You never know what you're going to. Is it in, in live performance, no matter what you do, you never know what you're going to. Even if you do the same gig seven nights on a row, you can actually get seven different reactions. I mean, one night you might take the roof off the place, next night they might be different, next night a fight might break out, next night, I don't know, something will happen and you, when you've had a, a, an amazing time at a gig, where are you going to go from that? You know what I mean? We did it. We, the Tama in Lee, we had a really good show. December 2018. Um, so we decided to book it again in the March and it was fucking rubbish. It was terrible. Everything about it was... It was but then again, the first time we expected to do it, we expected it to be a fucking horrible car crash, which it wasn't. It was a nice surprise. The second time we expected it to be amazing, which it wasn't. You never know what you're going to in comedy. Um, so um, it's just me getting over myself. We are journeymen comedians. We we just do a lot of the gigs other people don't want to do. We we get the sweepings up. Um, that's the way it is. Why is that? Perhaps we've been a bit self dis Part of it, our face is never fitted that grammatically makes sense. Um, Russell's on stage now. And part of it is, I've had self-destructive behaviour and fucked a lot of things up for myself. You know, I got to the top, well, not to the top, but I was working for a top agency called Off The Curb. And then I cancelled the gig on them for no reason. And um, 
the, they didn't get in touch after that. They just fucked me off because that's this bonfire now, by the way. Well, it's not, but even bonfire now. Um, so, um, yeah, we're here. We'll give it our best shot. As I said before earlier, I'm enjoying doing this vlog. As I said before, we used to go out as a troop. Steve Hayes, hello Steve if you're watching, Harry Bristow. Um, hello Harry Bristow, and Russell and me, we'd go all over the place to pubs and things, have adventures. And it was fun. Uh, we did have some stories, the riots broke out, some of that, some bad things happened. But it's not all bad, so I'm going to give it my best shot. Hopefully we'll get some footage of me on stage with Russell. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Before you start, Jimmy, is it light in here or do I look like I'm about to have an heart attack? I look fucking purple. Yeah, I have a red filter on my phone, it's probably no, better it. for your eyes. Russell's about to go on stage, well, on a wooden floor. Yeah. Uh, what's your feel? Are you, ner are you nervous? Do you train or ass? Well, it's always nice to have a little bit of nerves, isn't it? It means that you curve a little bit. Um, but you see, yeah, it's a better, it's a better stage than that time I stood on a row of pallets. We did, uh, did you get the golden lion in Wigan stood on a blue pallet. Um, yeah. Good luck tonight. Uh, I'm going to fil film you now. Cheers, well, I'm saying, man, if that Jim is, if that Jim will fix it. Yeah, good, yeah. good luck. Uh, you, that, this is, yeah, this is what I've always wanted, it's my dream to be able to do comedy. We'll let you know, uh -huh. let us know how you get on, we'll send the BBC crew round and then you can get, go home with Philip Snow for you. <laughs> wow. Right, uh, yeah, you get out there and film me. Give Thomas a massive round of applause as well. <laughs> Six years married, so six years today. Yeah. Well, give a massive round of applause. <laughs> what is six years? Is that um, anal? <laughs> Before I go, then I do love shopping. I absolutely love shopping. It's one of my fucking craziest hobbies ever. Big food shopping, clothes shopping, dildo shopping. You know what I mean? I love it, but I had a bad experience of a week. Like, went to went to my local class there. Just went to self-service checkout, scanned my items, put them in the bagging area, and it went off like unexpected item in bagging area. I was like, everything on there is everything there. That looks fucking good to me, right? It's not going without, so I had to wait for the cashier. The cashier comes over. I said, look, I've scanned everything here, mate. Put everything in there. What's the problem? He went, ah, it's the condoms. I said, oh, all right, yeah, it's like age restriction. He went, nah, it's just unexpected because you're ginger. <laughs> Well, I'm ready for war. I'm suited and booted. Russell's just been on. You've done very well. You smashed it, as they say. Got some footage of that. Can't put it all in the vlog because obviously, given your act away. I want to edit it as well. well um, for you pick out what bit you want to use. I thought the uh, anniversary stuff was a good bit because you can. It's not your material, is it? That's just riff. Oh, okay. So you know, about 15 minutes in. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm waiting to go on now, and um, we'll see how we do. But Russell's done very well. So. And good luck, Jimmy. Will I get, Will I do well? I won't. I. Tune in to find out. That's in it. Fucking terrible. I want to go absolutely crazy and do not stop until he gets to the stage. Please welcome Mr. Jimmy. Oh! Thanks very much. No photographs. I'm meant to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> Before we start, I have to go through a checklist with you. Oh, you're a man. I am not Nigel from EastEnders. <laughs> a lesbian bus driver. <laughs> Jonathan Creek. <laughs> it's 
excuse me? How come, how come your microphone's louder than mine? <laughs> anyway, back to the act. <laughs> Rab C <C-Nesbit>. Nesbit. <laughs> Has your mum come for you? <laughs> I am not Brian May. <laughs> James May. <laughs> Carlos Puyol. <laughs> Plays for Barcelona. <laughs> Susan Boyle. <laughs> Fucking easy, it's common, isn't it? <laughs> Tony Tucker from Rise of the Foot Soldier. <laughs> with a thyroid problem. <laughs> Thank you very much, that was my act. Good evening, Detroit. I remember these lot, it was the fucking shittest episode of Gogglebox ever. <laughs> Why is your face so purple? Do you Roger, identify... Roger, Jeremy, tell me about it. Do you identify as a beetroot? <laughs> Fucking Dennis the Menace has seen better days. <laughs> Dennis the Menace, the, cra- the crystal meth he is. <laughs> I remember all that Sonic the Hedgehog there. I wish I was that fast. Nice to have an hipster. Is, is he your only hipster in Rugeley? <laughs> <laughs> Bartender, give him a pint of soy milk on me. <laughs> But he's been up all night worried to death about fucking climate change. <laughs> Fuck stop oil, the cheeky fucking bastards. <laughs> Get a shave. <laughs> Did you know that fucking kids have been colouring your hair? <laughs> what tattoo is do you fucking go to? I'm, I'm like a dragon on an horseback. No, yeah, I'll just colour your hair black. <laughs> Are you getting a child, are you getting a diving suit fucking done or what? <laughs> completely covered in, I'll teach you a fucking shout at my job. <laughs> Come in black with fucking Frogman's fucking flippers on and a fucking diving fucking hat. <laughs> then in the section week after. <laughs> and you put your shit on floor mate, we're having a picnic after. <laughs> Like, that's not Clark Kent, is it? <laughs> Superman on ESA. <laughs> ah, I'm going to fly about now. I've got like a mobility scooter. I just fucking... <laughs> You've got fucking Lex Luthor there. <laughs> I'm only jealous, Matthew. I have a small penis that doesn't, no longer works. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of claiming fucking Kerr as a <laughs> What's your name, bro? What's your name? Shirley. Shirley. <laughs> hey, you've got some money here with your fucking iPhone watch, haven't you, Shirley? <laughs> What's the difference between James Carden and an orange? <laughs> I don't want to kick fuck out of an orange. <laughs> fucked off. <laughs> Thanks very much. So we've uh, just finished our night tonight. We've got Tom, we've got Russell, and then Jason, who is going home with me after. Uh, have you had a good night, lads? Brilliant night. Brilliant night. Um, Absolutely brilliant. Rouge Lake, what, what's the, is it Rugby? Rouge Rugby Club. Rouge Rugby Club. Rouge Club. Is, that was is, a Tom is twist union? as well. I, I didn't even bother saying it on stage, because I thought if I say that on stage, I'm going to fucking trip Is it Union or League? Rugby League? Rugby League? Rugby League. Rouge Lake, Rugby Union. Check them out on, uh, have you got any social? Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, Facebook. YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, all the lot. Um, yeah. Um, Jason's rubbing himself against me, so I'm gonna have to go now. But thank you very much, everybody. Peace out. Thank you. Bye bye. No. Well. Oh, I thought it was a picture. That was um, amazing. Very surprised. I, oh, Tom, an apology. I came very arrogant, thinking, do you know who I am? To show them what we turned up to, though. Yeah, but they, they, they yeah. know that. But no, what yeah. a lovely fucking crowd. People who are all who like a good fucking laugh above all else. A really good crowd. Actually, funny. It's funny. 
Now we're going to go uh, to the motorway services, a bit of shoplifting. Fog, yeah. yeah, and. Um, Good night, Shirley, love. Good night, Shirley. <laughs> Good night, Shirley. Take care. <laughs> we've made loads of women contacts, you know, we've not yeah. really, that she's, she, anyway. Right, and uh, all right, I'm going now. Uh, come on, Russell, let's hit the road. Let's hit the road, baby. Good gig, good gig. Uh, hello, uh, what time is it, Russell? What time is it? Um, it's 11 o'clock, we've pulled up for a pizza um, in Stafford. I wanted a kebab, actually. Um, Russell is urinating by that place, FMS thing. Uh, and we're going for a kebab now on the way home. Yeah. Okay. A chicken shawarma. I don't know. Good evening, it's 25 past 11. Where are we at? What's this? We're in Caprino's in Stafford on our way back. What have you got to meet for your car keep back? <laughs> uh, yeah, you are doing Go back to care again. Uh -huh. um, Russell's got a meat feast, and I've got Very nice. a, barbecue, a barbecue sizzler with a rare chip something. We're just documenting a full gig. Never done it before. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. That's alright, isn't it? It's like a big cinnamon bun, but it's like a pizza. Yeah, I mean, the final, final thoughts for the evening. Right, if you come here to, what's it called? Stafford. Stafford, and you come to this establishment, get a meat feast, but don't, don't get chips. Not much about all the family. The nurses are home. Yeah, they're 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 home. Yeah, if we learn anything from it, is that we are probably two of the funniest people on the planet. So. To be honest with you, without no sense of um, exaggeration, we've still got it. That's it, isn't it? We've never lost it. Yeah. Um, so it's good now from me. It's good now from me. We'll have some pizza now. Thank you very much. God bless.